former US President Donald Trump, hosted Israeli Prime Minister Benjamin Netanyahu and his wife Sara at his Mar-a-Lago residence in Florida on Friday. This marks Netanyahu's first trip abroad since Israel's conflict with Hamas began nine months ago. Both Trump and Netanyahu, despite their past differences, have strong political incentives to reforge their alliance. Trump's presidency was marked by significant support for Netanyahu's policies, far surpassing that of his predecessors. Upon being asked by a reporter on the duo's relationship, Trump said it was always good. Mr. Trump, has your relationship with the Prime Minister repaired at all? No, it's, it was never bad. We was, uh, I would say it was always good. No president has done what I've done for Israel, and uh, we've always had a very good relationship. During their meeting, Trump and Netanyahu also addressed the ongoing hostage situation. Netanyahu expressed hope that there would be no adverse impact on negotiations from Harris's recent comments. Well, we're trying to get one. And I think the, to the extent that uh, Hamas understands that there's no daylight between Israel and uh, the United States, that expedites the deal. And I, uh, I would hope that uh, those comments uh, don't change that. Trump seized the moment to criticize Harris, describing her remarks as disrespectful to Israel. No, I have no remarks. She's a radical left person, San Francisco, destroyed San Francisco. Uh, she's really a destroyer. She doesn't know how to build. And uh, I think her remarks were disrespectful. They weren't very nice pertaining to Israel. I actually don't know how a person who's Jewish can vote for her, but uh, that's up to them. But she was certainly disrespectful to Israel, in my opinion. The meeting underscored the enduring political bond between Trump and Netanyahu, highlighting their mutual interests and shared political objectives amid the evolving dynamics of U.S.-Israel relations.